Hey guys, it's Landon Blake with RH, and I'm doing this video for one of my survey techs, Nikki. Nikki always wants a shout out on YouTube. There you go, Nikki. All right, so in this video, I am going to show you real quick how to download the latest available imagery from what we call Earth Explorer. This is USGS Earth Explorer, super cool website put together by the folks at the USGS. And I'm actually going to show you two different scenarios here. So we're going to download uh, what's typically available in a rural area, and then uh, we're going to do an urban area, and I'll, I'll show you the difference, at least in, in my part of the United States. All right, so when you, uh, if you just Google USGS Earth Explorer, this website will come up. Uh, to download imagery, you do need to log in. So let's go ahead and do that. So I need to sign in. Let me pause the video real quick while I do that. All right, guys, so when you're signed in, you'll see your username here in the corner. Remember, you gotta be signed in to, to download data. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go pan over to our area of interest. So I have this little project up in the foothills here of, of the Sierra Nevada. I got a, it's right here in Mid Pines. <clears throat> All right, so let me see. I gotta make sure I'm in the right area here. All right, guys. Sorry, I had to figure out where I needed to be. Uh, I'm actually a little bit to the northwest of Mid Pine. So uh, here's the area I need. So what you do is you just get that area centered in your viewport, and then. Uh, you're gonna work your way through these tabs from left to right here. Okay, so right now we're in our search search criteria, right? And you can search by name or you can use it, upload a KML file or whatever, but I don't typically do that. I just get the viewport where I need it. And then I say, uh, you're gonna come down here to, to Polygon and we're just gonna say use map. Okay, and then it puts in the, the four lat longs of your viewport there. Okay, so you can see them. Okay, which is perfect. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come down here and we're going to click on data sets. So now we're on the second tab and we want to go, you can get all kinds of stuff in here. Okay. But what we want is under aerial imagery. Okay. And typically in a rural area like this, uh, we're going to, we're going to want to come down and grab the, the Nate imagery. Okay. So we're going to click on Nate and uh, we're going to click high resolution ortho two, just in case there's a data set, but there probably isn't, but we'll see. And okay, so it says, yeah, no results found for the high res, but if you come down here to the NAPE, all right, so here's here's the NAPE imagery. Okay, now there's some there's some buttons here. This is each of the tiles, so I just want to walk you through. So if you click the little foot here, it's gonna give you the footprint and it does them in different colors, which is kind of cool. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Um, and I probably need six of these. So those are the six I need. Okay, and then what you're going to do, now this, you won't be able to use this download button here uh, unless you're logged in. So we're going to go ahead and click this now. And uh, it's going to say, do you want, it's it's big, it's 425 megs. Do you want it? Yes. Then click the download. Okay. And you can see up here it's downloading now. So I can close that and go to the next one. Okay, and uh, these are actually um, probably downloading in UTM Zone 2 metric, which isn't what I want. Uh, but you can reproject these um, in QGIS. I've got another video that shows you how to do that if you just search the channel. I'll try and remember to get a link in the comments. So we're just going to download all these. So I'll give that some time. That's a lot of data to download. Now, let me show you what happens a little bit differently when you're in, in an urban area. So I'm going to cruise over here uh, to a little uh, side project I've got going over here in my hometown of Stockton. Um, so I'm interested in... Uh, let's see here. I'm interested in this area. So I'm interested in these parcels here. Okay. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, go ahead and uh, we're going to go back to search criteria. Okay, I'm going to clear it. I'm going to say use map. Okay, so now it's got this new area highlighted. Okay, and then I'm going to come back to data sets. Okay, this time I'm going to uncheck Nate because I'm pretty sure I have high resolution ortho imager here. And that's what I wanted to show you. This is a little bit different when you're in an urban area in our part of California. So then we're going to go ahead and say results. And um, usually in, in our part of California, somewhere around 2013, um, they did some high resolution imagery. Now, how do you know what the resolution is? If you come right here and click on show metadata, uh, it's going to tell you right down here the resolution. Okay, so it is, uh, this is it of a meter. So it's a third of a meter or one foot. So this is one foot resolution imagery and that's pretty typical. So in most urban areas in my part of California, we have one foot resolution ortho photography from 2013. And in an area like this where there hasn't been a lot of development, that's actually fairly helpful. So we can do the same thing here. We can go ahead and turn on our, our footprints and then we can download those. Now, if you can, um, if if you if you haven't had major changes to your site, um, it's it's better to use uh, it's better to use the the 2013 imagery. Okay, and I'm going to show you why that is. So what I'm going to do here is uh, we're just going to come back uh, and we're going to go ahead and download the Nate for the same area and then I'm going to load both of those. I'll pause the video and I'm going to just load both of those um, so you guys can see the difference. I'm just going to download this tile. Okay, let me pause the video and, um, and I will uh, open that. Uh, I'll restart the video when I have uh, both those images uh, both those images at the different resolutions loaded so you guys can you guys can see the difference between okay guys so we're almost done here I just uh, I've got those two images loaded up uh, 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 one is the the USDA Nate that's a one meter or three foot resolution and the other is the the, the uh, USGS one foot resolution imagery that we have in most urban areas in, in Central California so I just want to show you the difference so if you zoom in on the USDA Nate, you can see it starts to get pretty, pretty blurry. Okay, so let me turn that off. So here's the one foot imagery, and you can see there, there's quite a big difference there, right? I mean, we can see the striping here on the, on the playground. We can count the number of parking stalls. That gets a little hard to do with the USDA Nate, right? So even though this is older, 2013 era, if there hasn't been a lot of changes to, to our site, uh, and we're in an urban area, this is the, uh, the imagery that we prefer. So I just wanted to show you guys that. So, all right. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it.